Well, hello, my gems. Welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing today? Hope all are well. Thank you for watching. Um, if for those who are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like my video, give my video a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Yeah, and for those who are not new, thank you for being subscribed and staying subscribed to my channel. Appreciate you guys. I love you for being there for me. Um, I'm really trying to build my subscriber base, and I'm glad that y'all that y'all had stuck by me all this time, you know, and and did not unsubscribe, or that I am need, or I am in need of a lot of subscribers, which I'm trying to build my subscriber base, like I mentioned, because I want to start getting monetization, and in order to do that, I have to get a thousand subscribers, and I haven't gotten a thousand subscribers, so I'm trying to do that. And um, so today I decided I wanted to play with some makeup, um, especially continuing on with uh, my hard candy look. I had did a full face hard candy um, look. And if you have not seen that there, I will go ahead and link the video up there at the top. So you can watch that hard, full face hard candy video. And yeah, so I can enjoy that video as well. Today I just want to, um, I'm not being promoting, I'm not promoting anything. I'm not... Um, sponsored or 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 I'm not sponsored in any kind of way everything that I have on or that I wear I buy with my own money and so I really wanted to start letting y'all know like I have a like a perfume collection and stuff and I actually uh dug into my collection today and I actually got in got in this Victoria's Secrets Angel Gold collection it's an I know it's like a, an old, um, it's an old, um, what you call it? Um, it's not, it's not something that recently came out. I think this might have came out years ago. I'm not sure when, but um, I just dug into my collection and I got this and I got the actual spray to go with it and I. For, the, for that for the first time today and um, I'm liking the scent the scent is like a floral kind of like a floral juicy type scent this is in the the fragrance it has is a sparkling bergamot with lush gardenia and musk so I'm smelling that on my skin and it smells real lovely um, at first it does it's really strong at first but you know, once you wear it throughout the day, it, I mean, once you wear it, like, after about a few hours or so, it'll start going away. The scent will start, like, start becoming a little lighter and um, more bearable, I guess I should say. I normally would go with my Boom Boom Cream or Bum Bum Cream. And it's a Brazilian, the Brazilian uh, from Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. But it's Boom Boom, like Boom Boom, like, you know. In, in Spanish, that's how you say it. Boom, boom. And um, I really like the way this smells as well. So I I would wear this cream on a regular basis. But um, I decided to go into my um, perfume collection and just start digging up some, you know, you know, perfumes that I have in there. And just, you know, wanted to wear them and see if I still am in love with them or not. So I, I tried it out. I tried out that one and I... And I I feel like I still like it and um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys and um, yeah so thank you for clicking on my video and I hope you enjoy my video and we'll continue on in creating the look that I have on this is just one of the looks that I have on right now using this palette here um, because I continue on with continuing on with the, my hard candy collection this is the palette that i that i used and i dug into more of the more um uh smokier looks smokier shades to create this look here um you will see that i actually did a wide range of color and i did three looks with the wide ranges of color in here and i just you know the same look you know throughout the three looks that i have that i had wore on so this is the palette and um, yeah, leave me your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about this palette. If you like it, if you don't like it, um, what your take is on it. Um, if you own it, you don't own it. I would really, like to, I would really like to know. So yeah. So without further ado, let's continue on with the video. 
Okay, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and do the first look using my hard candy eyeshadow palette. So we're going to go ahead. I already primed my eyes. I already got my eyebrows done. So um, I got the basic part going. So I'm going to go ahead and do like a purple. <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with the purples and pinks in this palette here because um, I do want to I do want to put like a like a red like a purple lip on my lip a purple color on my lip <laughs> so I'm gonna try to see if I can get the darkest out of these shades to create that look um, I'm gonna go ahead and use just a fluffy brush right now just kind of like kind of set my base to create that uh, purple look so I guess I can start with a pink as my purple as my purple base as the base I can use to create like this purple look okay and I'm gonna do that all over the lid this is just a regular fluffy brush any fluffy brush that you may have this does not have to be named or anything like that I mean it doesn't you don't have to there's not a specific name just that it's a fluffy blending brush that's all you need to know but if you need to know what this one is this is just a dual ended fluffy brush from profusions I got one of their um, eyeshadow kits so I'm just what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up this color build it up really dark both sides of my eyes this is look number one I mentioned okay so I'm gonna keep doing this to build up my shade okay so I'll be right back to kind of show you the end result of the build up on my color okay just a second come back be able to see that under the lighting okay so I'm gonna go ahead and, and intensify this shade by going in with some red shade this red shade here I'm going to intensify it just in the crease area I'm going to go with a smaller brush than this um, I'm going to use um, let me use this brush right here this came with the with the set and um, let me use this side here because it's fluffy and it's a smaller um, a smaller blending brush so I'm going to go ahead and use that because I do I want to intensify it, but I don't want it to be to where I cannot fix it anymore if I do too much. So I'm going to put this in the crease. So you can see I'm intensifying this area here. In the crease and outer corner with this red shade okay do the same thing with this eye doing that and as you can see it's starting to look more berry toned that's what I'm trying to get I'm trying to get it as berry and and um, purple as possible so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with um, this using the same brush here and intensify it some more with this shimmer shade here it almost looks like a I like a terracotta red copper cut copper color but you know copper has red in it so and it kind of has um like reddish brown tones in this shade so it can probably intensify this color i'm gonna do this in my crease and on my lid as well I 
and then I'm going to mix it in with that pink one again. By the way, and that was a shimmer shade. You guys can see that was a shimmer shade. I'm going to go ahead and blend it in with some more of this pink using the same brush here. I'm just using a little detailed brush here and I'm going back and forth with the colors. And I'm going to intensify that again on the lid. All right, looks like it's building up, so let's keep going. So I'm going to add some uh, bronze to my color to kind of like bring more dark into this color. Um, just along the crease right here on the top crease. Just kind of go back and forth below the crease, like in the crease, but right here, just right in the center kind of go back and forth with that on each side and it's just right down the center right not down the center but right on the crease center because we're trying to make a purple something that would look good with the purple lip like a reddish purple you'll see what I'm talking about when the lip comes on now I do want to soften this up since it's, it is like a coppery and with, since it is like a bronzy shade, I'm going to go ahead and soften it up with um, some of the silver smoky shade here. And I will go ahead and do that also in the crease. And just right where I set, on, right where I set the um, that bronze shade just to give it some light, some just to kind of brighten that up, brighten this area up from the crease. Now, on the outer corner, I'm going to go ahead and go with the lighter shade. I'm going to go with this pale pink here. Do that on the outer crease, <clears throat> and I will use the fluffy brush. Now we'll just blend the outer crease with that and above the crease as well. The outer corner and above the crease, that's what I'm trying to say. And just blend it out with that pale pink matte shade from this pan. Using a fluffy brush. looking pretty good okay I think I'm creating a pretty good look here okay now now I need something I'm gonna go ahead and mix for my lid now I'm gonna go ahead and put this shimmer pink on the lid along with some of um, maybe some red maybe it'll turn purple these two shades here well, I mean sorry these two shades here We'll see how that does. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna use this side of the brush, which is like the lid, like a lid brush here. I'm gonna go ahead and go in back and forth. Going back and forth with this and with this shade. Sure, should I use this shade? Going back and forth with this shade and this shade, which is the bronze one. Okay, so I have both shades on my on my brush here and I'm going to go on the lid and see how this works. And see if it'll turn out like how I want it. I went back in with some more of that pink shimmer and setting it on top of what I've already layered. 
I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Do some of that pink shimmer and bronze together. And just go on the lid. And then I'm going to go ahead and go on top with that pink shimmer again. Okay, so that's how it's looking now. You can see that. Okay, it's starting to look a little better. It's starting to come out more of a pinkish, mauve kind of tone. I do want to put some black in there, but I just don't know where I should put it, where it doesn't kind of like disturb the pink that I'm trying to create here. So, um, I'm going to go back and forth with this um, red and black on the outer corner. I'm going to use this smaller um, flat lid brush here. So I'm going to go back and forth with this red shade and this black shade, just back and forth. And just see how this looks on the outer corner where the lid part is. Just, I guess it's giving it the definition that I like. Yeah, it's giving it that definition. Definitely giving it that definition. I'm seeing more black than red. So I put I'm uh, went back in with red and I'm putting it on where the black is. Just spreading it out. And I am also gonna use some pink. But first I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye. This side here, put some black and, black and red, just go back and forth, kind of give it that definition. This is how it's looking now. It's giving more definition. I'm going to go in with um, this pink shade again. The one right here. And just kind of use it on the outside as well. Kind of give me some pink. Some pink in there. On the outer corner. Where the black and the red is. Just add some pink. Just to kind of show it whose boss it is just to kind of show these shades that you don't want to, oh you don't want them to overpower the pink as well you're just blending it in with the pink and use this um fluffier brush here just kind of spread that color out And now for the lid, I'm going to go ahead and use, now for the lid I am going to use this uh, terracotta reddish color and the pink together. I'm going to wet my brush this time. Use my setting spray. Brush, sorry if I'm moving you around. I'm moving you guys around. Okay, so I'm going to wet my brush. Okay, I'm going to go in with um, that shimmer shade and this terracotta shade, okay? Just to kind of mix them together and just put it on top of the lid and see what kind of look I get.
going back when going back in with pink going over like this with the pink one and it kind of mimics also like the reddish um, copper tone as well kind of mimics it now doing the other eye the same way while the brush is still wet Some more pink to this look. Okay, right there it is. So that's how it's looking now. Make sure you're able to see that. Hope y'all can. Maybe I need to sit at a certain angle so y'all can see me much better. Okay, so. Okay, I guess I can, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the inner corner highlight. I'm going to go ahead and use just a regular, you know, corner brush you can use. It has a tip. I'm going to use this real nice shimmer here. It's almost like a highlighting shimmer you can even put as a highlighter. And I'm just going to tap it right here in this inner corner. there hope I didn't put too much but it pressed down too hard in the pan okay I'm gonna go ahead and go under the eye I'll go ahead and use um, this smaller brush again I'm going to go ahead and use this bronze shade here. Bronze. Let's go under the eye. And just smooth out the bottom lash line with it, with that shade. Okay, go ahead and uh, put some pink as well. And I'm going to put some of that pale pink. I use this, I use this bronze and then I use this matte pink and I'm going to use this um, nude matte, nude pink also for the bottom okay all right my gem so this is what I have so far so um, this is how it's looking right now so let me just come off camera do the rest of my eye and I'll be right back okay so here's the finishing look what do you think of my gems wearing the right earrings it has some purple in it like my lip I used my hard candy uh, lipstick here in the shade starlet looks and this hot swatches see it's almost like a hot red hot pink not a hot pink but like a reddish 
purplish tone and I created my look with that palette so I think I created the I created a look that really went well with this lipstick and I put some falsies on and I used this mascara tinsel by Hard Candy as well this is in the shade it's a glitter mascara it's a lash tinsel it's in the shade 17's a dream and I did it at the bottom waterline so I'm gonna get you up close to show you the bottom bottom line the water the bottom waterline and kind of just how I apply oh I poke myself my eye yeah I care if you can poke your eye out <laughs> but uh this is how it looks right now it's giving you that same color as I like I wanted it to for my lip and also goes well with this eyelash look eyelash look this eyeshadow look so I hope you guys enjoyed this look let me zoom you out so you can actually see so you can actually see finishing touch I just don't feel like there's any good lighting going on right now I don't know if it's the camera that's not really focusing too much on the lighting aspect of it so here's the finishing look from afar from being zoomed out Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you like this look. This is look number one, okay? I'm going to go ahead and go on with look number two. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with look number two. We're going to go ahead and create more like a smoky, uh, dark um, look. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and start with the black. Yeah, with the black in this palette here. We're going to go ahead and use that. I already primed my eye. I'm going to go ahead and grab a, um, a crease brush. I'm grab this one here. A little pointy tip at the, at the end. So I'm going to start with this, with this black shade. Just work it on the outer corner. And into the crease. See that okay so as you can see it's it's mixing in with the eyeshadow primer which is fine I just hope it doesn't give me it isn't I'm not sure the primer is dried yet it looks like it's dried so let's just continue using this black black shade here and just building up the color on the outer corner and just kind of smoothing it in in the crease smoothing this black part in the crease going back and forth and just concentrating it on the outer corner here if you can see that yeah if you can see that let's do the other side the same way Start with the outer corner and just blend, swirl it around until you build up the color. And also get some in the crease. You want to get mostly in the outer corner, like the darkest part of the shade. You want it on the outer corner, and as you work your way through the crease into the eye, you want it to start blending out. But uh, here in the outer corner, you do want it to have a little dark, a little darker impact than the crease. So just keep blending it out in the crease. And on this side is, I have a hard time working on this side than I did on the right side. I'm not sure why. It's because I'm right-handed. Looks like it's coming together. How I expected it to turn out, how I want it to turn out. Okay. 
my cast like is looking really pretty really smoky on the outside now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with um, let's go in with this copper shade this bronze shade I'm sorry and we'll just work that in towards the lid towards the lid area here using the same brush just kind of blending this dark shade together with that brown like almost with that copper bronze shade it's giving it like kind of diffusing that shade that black shade on the lid just kind of diffusing it as you can see you can see the difference now you can see like it's getting a little darker like a darker bronze bronzy shade right here let's do the same thing for this side Doing the same thing, the same thing for this side. That's looking now. Making sure it's balancing in color on both sides. Okay, so we have it. So we see we have the smoky look. We're gonna go ahead and use. We're gonna go ahead and wet the brush. We're gonna use a lid brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the one that's in this palette. We're gonna go ahead and use this one. I'm color change. I'm gonna color. Cor I'm gonna color correct it. I'm gonna color change it using my color changer. This is my BH Cosmetics color changer. Got it for like five bucks. We're on sale. A while back and it's looking like this so it's taking all the color out okay so now it's looking clean we're gonna go ahead and wet this brush my setting spray and we're gonna go ahead and go in with that um uh, silver We're gonna go ahead and go in with the silver bronze, sh silver bronze, silver like stardust shade here. We're in, we're gonna use. <sighs> so using this silver stardust shade, we're gonna go ahead and use the wet brush. Dip it in the pan, and we are gonna wet the lid. Starting from the center of the lid, work your way up like you want to do a halo, kind of like a halo eye. And that's going to look marvelous. Okay. Okay, so it's down the center and it's looking marvelous 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 doing the same thing for the other eye just down the center all right my video cut off there sorry about that that means it's time for me to hurry up. So it's still kind of wet, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my, I'm gonna go ahead and use this lighter shade here. It's like a, it's like a highlighted shade here for the, for the lids. It's also shimmery, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that for the inner part of the eye, the inner corner, but also a going in a third ways or a quarter ways in from the inner corner in. 
and just giving me that brightened highlighted effect in the inner corner it's looking beautiful by the way this is looking okay me with the brush again because it's like losing its power losing its power <laughs> let me go dig back dip back into that um, highlighted shade and just do the inner corner like lid part like a third ways in and just put that color in you're giving it like a gradient effect with this highlighted shade and the stardust shade which I love so much because it's looking really nice look how it's a blurred was I blurred out looking really nice it's giving that gradient effect so I am going to use the blending side of the brush here like it's a little tapered brush go back in with that stardust stardust silver shade I just kind of like go down the center again and just mix like kind of overlap a little bit with the inner corner to just not give it that harsh line because I do see like it's like this gradient but then you see like a harsh line so you want to blend that out And I'm going to use a fluffier brush to kind of like just fluff all this color together, fluff it all out so you won't see any harsh lines. I need a fluff, more fluffier brush than this. So I'm just with a clean fluffy brush just to sweep and blend it together. And it's giving it, it's gonna give you a grungy look, which is okay, not bad. Give you a grungy look as long as we still have the shades in there, the three shades we want. Um, let me go ahead and go in with a go in with this shade here, it's like a nude shade, and I'm just gonna just blur out these harsh lines by going to where the Brow bow is brow bone is and just fluff these edges out with the shade. pretty good I'm gonna go go in even lighter with this lighter nude shade here at the top this is a shimmer the other one was a matte so I'm gonna go ahead and do that like above the eyebrow bone on this side Let's see if I get like a little shimmer glow going on there
There it goes. Yeah, I think it, yeah, I blended that out. All right, so this is how it's looking now. Okay, so we're, I'm gonna go ahead and come off camera, put on the finishing touches, and I'll be right back. Where are you going, my gems? Here's the second look. What do you guys think? Like it? Yeah, I like it. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if this is uh, the look you like. Let me know which look you liked. Like one. And this is look number two. We get up close. Let me show you what I did with my with my lashes. What I did is I just curled them and I put mascara on and then I used my hard candy mascara tinsel <laughs> in the shade um, Soul Lever LC I or LC One. So it has glitter and it's in the shade black. So that's what I have on my eyelashes now. I wonder if you can see the glitter or not. But I just thought this would look real well with this look since this look is glittery. It's all glitz and glam. So let's do the little turn. Yeah, I enjoyed this look. I did. I enjoyed this look. I think I like why well, I like both looks. Look number one and look number two. So so far I'm liking them. But y'all let me know in your comment section down below which look you liked better. Let me zoom out. Like my fiery lip. I love my fiery lip. I love reds. Reds are one of my favorite colors for, for my lips. Reds, browns, and nudes. So yeah. So okay my gems. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, come off camera so we can go create look number three. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the third and final look. I went ahead and I primed my eyes already. So let's go ahead and this time we're going to do more of a bronze, like a more brown, brownish tone. We have a lot of browns in this palette here. Uh, we have this one gold shimmer here. We could probably use this as a highlight. Or a little topper. We'll see. We'll see how this turns out. So, all right. So, what do I want to put in my crease? I guess I want to go ahead and put in. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush. I always use with this little point at the end to do my crease. So, I'm gonna start with my crease first. Um. Hmm. What stands out to me? What stands out the most? I'll go ahead and use. Um, I'll use this bronze shade first in the crease and then work its way to the outer corner but doing like um, windshield wiper motions going back and forth. So trying to see how I'm gonna I'm still trying to see how I'm gonna incorporate this brown look but I know I do want to get the outer corner a little darker then I want to go in with my lid with so the next shade I'm going to go ahead and use is this shade here this is a nude nude toned nude flesh toned shade and I will put that on the lid and into the crease mix it in with that bronze shade Ok, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with this shade here. It's like a copper, like a goldish copper tone here. Go ahead and go in with that shade as well. Outer corner, going into the crease as well. Yeah, mixing all these browns together to create one bronze look. One, not bronze, but one brown looking look. So I am putting it in my crease to realize that I'm getting really, really good pigment with this uh, golden copper toned um, eyeshadow. So that could be like my contrast shade. I really like that. And um, so let's go in with to give it more dimension since I don't since this copper since this bronze shade doesn't give me too much dimension. I'm gonna go ahead and use some black. Kind of dip in some black and bronze, black and bronze. Just to kind of give you a little dimension on the outside with the bronze and black. Do that on the other side as well. I love this shade. Go back and with some more copper for both sides and just blend that out. Blend, blend, blend. You're going to have to go into the crease with this, with that bronze shade. Okay. Getting too much pigment out of these brown shades. I do see the black and the copper, but I'm going to try to go back in with this gold copper shade here and just try to build up the color. Just give me like a little color payoff maybe on the lid because that matte nude was more like a base shade. It just kind of helped me give me an idea on how I wanted to go with this look but I'm seeing that I should use this shimmery copper and just blend it all on the lid try to give you a gradient effect with the rest of the eyelid on the outer corner like this and then I think I'm gonna wet I'm gonna wet a color here. I think I I'm gonna use that gold shade. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, use. I'm gonna go get a fluffy brush. Get a fluffy brush, like so. And I'm gonna use this lighter shade up here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that above the crease and just kind of soften this color out from above the crease to soften that color with that shade just to get rid of any harsh lines it's trying to look good I think it's trying to come out 
color starting starting to come out finally. It's coming out pretty good. I think I like that. Okay, and then <clears throat> I'll wet my brush here, my little brush, like this one here, I'm going to wet it, and I'm going to go ahead and use that gold shade here in the corner, and I'm going to go ahead and use that for my lip topper, and finish the look with that. Yeah, that was easy, that wasn't hard at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish it off with the topper. Putting my brush. Okay, so let's go ahead and top this. I like to go in the inner corner with the topper. Because I already had that um, copper shade already on the lid. I just thought, well. Well. I'm going to spread it out. I am going to spread this gold out a little bit more. Cover up that copper shade. Maybe it'll cohese together. These two shades will blend well together. Since one is wet and the other one just wasn't. One was just dry. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side on my eye. I just really want to get like some pizzazz. What is that? I'm trying to get some pizzazz into my eyelid with this gold shade. I might give you my, my review on this palette at the end of this video because this is um, this will be the last video I'll be using the hard candy this year with this palette as well. Not this hard candy palette. I will be using this will be my last year using the hard candy palette. I'm not gonna create any more looks with it. I feel like I already created all the looks that I needed to create with this with this palette, and it's time to pass it on to somebody else. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, finish there all right so this is how it's looking now it's looking really goldy kind of like really gold it's giving me like really gold vibes here so i'll come right uh let me come off let me come off camera i'll come right back on with the rest of the look all right stay tuned okay my gem so this is the finishing look using this palette this is my my third and final look using this palette now we'll put this palette to rest. <laughs> and um, so, did do y'all like? Do y'all like the look that I created with this palette? The third look? Let me get you up close and let you know what I did with my, my eyes here. Okay, so let me do the turn so I can see the shade of the eyeshadows. So, I just put some falsies on, as you can tell. I guess you can see the seams, like, when I close my eyes, you can see the seams of the false lashes. I just wanted to give it, like, a natural, dramatic look. Not too dramatic, just like a natural, dramatic look, I guess, if that's a word. And um, what I did is I, uh, I did put, like, a black eyeliner for the bottom waterline. But because I had the, I had the hard candy mascara lash tinsel it kind of like 
got on my eyeliner for the bottom waterline, which I kind of like a little like on this side. It got on the eyeliner, and I kind of like because it kind of gives you that pop of color using these tinsels, these hard candy mascara lash tinsels. I do suggest you guys get them, especially um, if you like glitter and if you're wa liking, if you're wanting to go for like, like a glitter type look, just to kind of look more extra extravagant. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, that's what I did for the bottom lash line. I went ahead and I used my uh, in the shade Gold Digger, my lash tinsel, and um, I might just did a clear, almost goldish. Um, lip gloss look with little shimmers coming out of it <laughs> to kind of go with this look and uh, I just put on some earrings that I felt would go good with this look because you know uh, with the rhinestones in the in my earrings kind of like make them shine as well it kind of gives it that shine look and um, yeah so um, Give me your take on this palette. Let me know if y'all like it. I feel like I got, I was able to do like a wide range of colors. Um, wide range of um, looks with this palette. Um, I was able to do some um, neutral shades. I was able to do this gold shade, smoky shade, pink shade, almost like mauve toned. Um... I feel like I got good use out of this palette. And um, it's time to move on to another new palette, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pass this on to my sister. Hopefully she'll enjoy using this palette. Uh, if not, like I said, I'll probably donate it to, like I had mentioned in my other videos, I'll probably donate it to like a, um, a Goodwill or donate it to um, Thrift Center. And... Um, so I'm going to give you my reviews on this palette. Um, overall, the packaging is good. It has a mirror. It has a really nice mirror. Um, it's not too big. It's not too small. Um, it came with two uh, double-ended brushes. And so, and I like the fact that when you wet the, the color, like the shimmer colors, you know, they do tend to pop. Um, what I don't like about this palette is the pigmentation. I feel like I get the same result from my my Perfusion line of cosmetic makeup. I, I think I got the same kind of like formula type of um, shadow. And this is a more expensive brand than Perfusions. I think Perfusions is is uh, reasonable for the price for the product. Um, with as far as the quality goes and the way it performs and the the way the quality of the eyeshadows go i think it has a better quality than the way these performed like these matte shades here like are these are like powder to me they um they look like talcumany i would like to say they don't give you too much um color payoff they're even the pink one i kind of had you know had to keep I had to keep building it up and there was a point where I couldn't build it up anymore so I had to compensate with this red shade and just kind of compensate with all these other shades as well to kind of build up the color so yeah I had a hard time trying to, trying to build up that mauvey mauvey pinkish look you know look number one I'm trying to you know I had a hard time trying to create a look like that but um and then I do feel like some of these shimmers um they go on pretty good i just feel like they kind of like i don't know i think it, it's you know they crumble in the pan which i don't mind you know that does that but when you put them on your eyelids they kind of if you don't wet them they kind of tend to look kind of grungy and I guess they perform a little, I guess I can say that they can they perform a lot better than the matte shades you know that they have a more of a more pigmentation more um or power to the to the shades like I guess if I can describe it that way um but uh yeah 
that's all I have to say about this palette. It was okay. It was all right. It was not too bad, but for the price, I think, um, I think I paid like ten dollars for this, either eight or ten dollars or ten ninety nine for this palette at Walmart, and um, I think I can get it cheaper. I think a better quality with the Profusion line, with the Profusion Cosmetic line of makeup, I can get better quality um, shadows than I did with this palette here. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe that's the reason why people are not really into the hype of hard candy because of the quality of the shadows. But um, I just thought I'd give it a try and um, you know, see how they perform for me. So. Um, I was able to get good looks out of it, but I just really didn't like the quality. The quality of it wasn't there for me, so I will have to pass on this palette. Maybe in the future, like my, maybe now they might have more palettes that are um, better, better in quality. Maybe the formula might have changed and they made it better. I'm not sure. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna buy another hard candy palette. I am gonna do another video with hard candy eyeshadow but it's gonna be on like a mini it's gonna be on this right here I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of my next video of the hard candy it's gonna be this uh it's this hard candy look pro smoky eye eyeshadow palette it comes in more than one shade I actually happen to get this one the smoky eye eyeshadow palette um and it comes like this it um it has it used to have a primer but I give the primer away as a giveaway and it has like simple smoky looks it also has a guide you know of the colors that go inside this that you can create from this palette here um it'll from daytime to evening and what is the other one drama so we will be creating look we'll be creating these looks here in this pamphlet that it came in and these are the shade names so I can actually see which which one which you know eyeshadow color I need to put on my put on my on my eyes but it basically just tells you right here you know like this side from left to right is day this is evening and this is drama from left to right from top to bottom so yeah, so it's a pretty, I'm going to try them, see, you know, if it gives me a really good look. So this is, this will be the next, um, will be the next thing I try, test out, and I, sh I don't think I'm going to do an eight hour wear test on this. I think I'm just going to create the looks and move on with another palette, which I do have more palettes in store for you guys to see, and, um, for those who are new to my channel and y'all don't know this I, I I have had some hauls I've had some pop-ups from I mean I am a boxycharm uh, subscriber which means you know I I, I am you know I, I subscribe to boxycharm and I pay you know for a uh, monthly subscription on makeup products and they also have skincare products in there which I'm getting a ton of skincare products and I'm like I don't know what to do with them um, to my head with those and I'm like trying to incorporate them with my daily regimen and I'm like what am I what am I to do they just keep putting these skincare products which is good for those I mean 12 months 12 months of skincare products is just too much I mean I mean I understand if they give you skincare once every three months or something you know because that way it'll give you time to start using the ones that you've already were given but um that's for another video this video is all about hard candy and um the reason why i came up with boxy charm is because that i do have a lot of other palettes in store that i want to go ahead and and start wearing and wear test these products with you know for my viewers i had already mentioned them in my videos that i will start doing uh, wear chests with some collections that I bought from our, from Boxy Charm. So yeah, so um, thank you for watching, and I appreciate you guys. So like, if you're new, like I said, please subscribe. Really need your your subscription. 
it's free it doesn't cost you a thing what are you waiting for um it's a win-win you get to see you know these looks i created with eyeshadow palettes you get a review out of them you actually get to see uh eye creations that i've that i've done you know with them and it's helping me out and also do giveaways so it's like win-win for you as well because you're also going to be entered into a giveaway um just subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on social media on twitter and instagram i will link those social media links at, at the bottom down below in the description bar so go ahead and do that so that way you can follow me on social media because that's where i'm gonna most that's where i'm gonna announce a lot of my giveaways on i already had two winners on my last giveaway this month i had two giveaways that i had going and i already already had my two winners for this month so but i have a lot of other uh giveaways in store for this for this year um i don't i want to say maybe next month i might do another giveaway or in another month after that we'll just see you just have to subscribe subscribe to my channel give my video a thumbs up and then also um click on the bell icon it'll give you a notification when i upload another video okay so thank you, my gems, for watching. I really appreciate it. And I love you, my gems. Each and every one of you are unique and beautiful in your own way. And um, thank you for watching. Love you. I'll see you in my next video.